What's crack a guys and girls? Hopefully everyone's doing all right. I know I am. I'm super excited for this one because today I finally get to mess around with this. The Christini Bicycles 104 BCD adapter for the Fang M620. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I've been aware of this for quite some time, but unfortunately I've just never had the opportunity to mess around with it. But finally I get the opportunity to do so now, all because of the Dengfu E22. Notwithstanding the fact that I'm going to be making that comparison video between the M620 and the E22 and the M5 and the M600 and the M510 and the Dengfu E10. And obviously with those motors which runs a 32 tooth chainring, I figured it's high time that the M620 gets that same mechanical advantage and uses the same, which is what this is going to do. Now, you can probably see in front of you that I have two other chain rings just for a reference. So the middle chain ring right here, this is specific to a Bosch Gen 4. Um, you're probably asking me why I have this. It's a long story, you'll see that in a different video. But here you go, this is for the Bosch Gen 4. This one, on the other hand, this is actually for the Bafang M400. Now, funnily enough, this is a 104 BCD chainring. The stock chainring size which this motor comes with is a 44 tooth. So in which case, just for reference, I can go all the way to a 32 on this uh, chainring or spider. Uh, but unfortunately, with the original stock M620, which uses a 130 BCD, the smallest chainring I could run on those was 38 tooth. Now that I can, now that I can go to a 104, can actually go to a 32 similar to the M400. Indeed, similar to other mainstream e-bike motors out there as well. So we'll pan over to the bike and I'll show you exactly what the installation is required and then we'll go from there. Right.
Okay, so naturally I need to remove some links from the chain. Now, my current setup at this point is it's 126 links at present. Um, obviously I've gone from a 38 tooth chain ring to a 32. You'd think that you just do simple math and you'd remove six links from the existing links of chains and then that should be able to do it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my time, I'm gonna remove two links per time until I get that ideal um, tension and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Well, I am thankful that I've been able to remove this. Um, this technically isn't the M620's chain ring. This is an M420's, but it was on the Dengfu E22, uh, just so that I could actually get a chain ring which is compatible with an 11 speed, even though I'm running a 12 speed chain, but it's the closest thing in which I could find. But now with that 104 BCD adapter, I can actually put on a 11 or 12 speed optimized chain ring, which will complement my current setup. Now, being cut for honest with you, again, the whole purpose in which I wanted to do this was so that the M620 on the E22 can gain a mechanical advantage just so I'm not pulling as much power. And notwithstanding the fact in relation to the comparison video between the Denfu E22 and the E10, at least I can eliminate anything such as the gearing in between both bikes. Um, both bikes will in fact have the same gear ratio, both front chain ring and the cassette. And I will also go into um, well, I'll make sure that both of them are rocking the same wheel just so that hubbing is really taken into consideration just so that one doesn't have a more favourable wheel set than the other. But having said that though, I'm going to wrap it up here and I will gladly say huge shout out to uh, Christini Bicycles for the 104 BCD adapter. I'll leave a link in the description just so you can check them out and of course update the being through E22 frame thread in relation to my thoughts and opinions regarding the Christini chainring on the E22. Link in the description to the Dengfu E22 frame thread. And of course, huge shout out to everyone who has contributed in relation to both the E10 and the E22 builds. You know who you are. I'm not gonna go over everyone who's contributed, but you know who you are. But anyway, I'm gonna leave it here anyway. Expect further ride footage in relation to the Dengfu E22 and expect the next video to of course cons uh, be about the Dengfu E10 because I put 300 miles through that thing so it's about time I give you my honest opinions in relation to that. But of course until the next time guys, take it easy, stay safe, peace be the journey, hashtag, hashtag FABT <laughs> and I will catch you then. Peace.